Hi everyone. It is I. And I have returned. Mostly because I went shopping. And do you know how I like shopping? Well, what did I get? Hmm, let us find out. I'm starting with item number one. I went to build a bear. Oh my gosh. Just just look at her. Look at her. She's so fluffy. She's dressed like Wonder Woman. And she has a cape. And she doesn't have the crown or the bracelets on yet because I was lazy. And then I took Linda here to build a bear. I got her dressed. I got her this little Elsa dress with the glitter and its awesomeness. Isn't it awesome? I love it. But now, on to, uh, if I can reach the bag and restore the stuff, birthday related stuff that I got because my birthday. I finally got a chubby Barbie doll. So, this doll, which I'm going to open on camera in a minute, her name is Miranda. So this is Miranda. So that was Miranda. And then also at Walmart, I happened upon this. And I saw my Froggy Step review of some of these. I just had to have the Care Bears dress. I just had to. It even has my favorite Care Bear on it. Grumpy. And then. And then. Looks like Jack Specific has released another doll. This one is Miss Harley Quinn. Which, in case you haven't figured out by now, is one of my favorites. Favorites. So, I'm going to stop, open these up, and then return. If I can find a mouse to do so. Okay, so before I unbox Miss Harley, uh, I need to show you all her box stuff, which I forgot to do. So, back the box. And so it has, like, all the other little girls, which are down here. Okay, I am not professional at all. So the other three were Wonder Woman, Supergirl, Batgirl. And it has the little pencil crayon colored drawing. There we go. And it has her name. And her comics font. Come to think of it, this is the font they use for her comics. And uh, then we have, it says on the back, it says, Your favorite DC superhero girls, like you've never seen them before. They're just as powerful as ever, but now they're just a little bit smaller and sweeter. And then it says in this the verse that we saw, it says, Harley Quinn has a big sense of humor and loves to have fun playing practical jokes. And it says it includes one doll, one mask, one headband, two cuffs, and one pair of shoes. So the headband is kind of tucked in the corner. See, she's wearing it in the box art. She's so cute. And she actually has bangs, unlike her fashion doll counterpart, which does not have bangs for the odd reason. I don't understand why she doesn't have bangs. So I will be right back with a hopefully opened Harley. And I am back a third time. And it's a good thing I remember to show you Harley's box because I completely mangled it to get her out. Okay, but first, ow, itch. We need to show you my little chubby, curvy Barbie who is really awesome. See, this is her. And she was number 74, I believe it was. Um, so I've decided to name her Miranda, 
So this is Miranda. She'll go along just fine with Lucy, I guess. And so this is Miranda. And she has this little belt, but it doesn't go all the way around, which is weird. And I'll show you Miranda's outfit now. Um, the purse was misplaced before filming, so I'm not going to search for that because I'm sitting on my very large bed with the very large covers and I don't have time to dig for it. But this is the most adorable thing. If it would. There we go. Kind of grumpy bear. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So it's a little grumpy and then I got a little head headband. Here we go. And so that's the outfit that I bought from Miranda. I was originally going to buy more outfits, but I could not pass up Harley. And oh, where is she? And then it took me for freaking ever to get this doll out of the box. Willa was an easier opening, and you saw me open her, and I struggled. It was so like, frustrating because the you think the rubber ties would break if you lifted her legs? Nope. I had to go hunt for a pair of scissors, then I stood in the kitchen for a solid ten minutes, wrangling every zip tie possible. And then there were these things in the back of her head, which the evidence of them is still there, though. Can't really see them. It's like they're there. I don't know how. To, I don't know if I can even get rid of them. Pretty sure I could, but I probably won't be able to. And so now they're just gonna awkwardly stick there for the rest of her life. But this is Harley. She's the same size as my little Elsa that I got on spring break. But she has these leggings on, which kill me. They're so cute. They're like this shiny, metallic -y fabric. Same with the top of her dress. And then her little skirt has the same type of glitter as Elsa's blue dress does. It even rubbed off on her a little bit on the box, so I had to get that off. And little cuffs which I think are really cute because I'm gonna go look but I'm pretty sure teenage Harley didn't wear cuffs wait she does <laughs> I just don't always see them on her for some reason does she no she has bracelets on she has the black and the red bracelets I think or at least mine did. I can't look because Harley's at home and I'm away from home. And so her mask is actually removable. It um it actually looks pretty simple. It see it goes over her ear there, so if I wanted to take it off, I could. Not that I will yet. And then I can't forget to show you her headband that I can't figure out how to put on her head. I mean, I think it would be easy, but I have to make everything difficult, apparently. Come on, Harley. Wear the pretty headband. That would be a sick joke. Like, it's not tightened in like, you know, typical dolls. Well, almost. It's really weird because her hair with her hair on pigtails, I have to be weird about it. Okay. I've discovered that I can't seem to get it on with her mask on because it will intersect the strap and knock her mask out of place. Weird. She probably wouldn't have been wearing this long anyway. It's cute, but I'm not. Good with doll accessories. 
So Miss Harley is like has the blue and the red in her hair. And she has it's so cute. Her eyes are killing me here. Yeah, I couldn't pass her up as I've said like five times already. Seriously, lots of Barbie stuff there. I've been meaning to build Barbie collection some more. But oh my freaking gosh, I nearly missed her because she was on the bottom shelf in the DC Superhero Girls section. And I looked down and I saw her and it was like angels were singing. It was like, hallelujah, hallelujah. And I'm like, I need this. I need it now. No, I actually genuinely did look at all the Barbies. Like there was Pet Vet and a pediatrician and all these interesting Barbies, but I kept going back to this. So, yes, I bought it. Yes, I love it. Yes, I want the Rollers. But this one, I had to start with this one. Because I didn't want to get like Wonder Woman who's been out forever and then see someone online have this one and be like, that exists. Oh my gosh. I'm not good at keeping with my collection, I guess. But yeah, now I have a fashion size Harley and a big Harley. Just like I have a Batgirl and then a Batgirl action figure. Granted, my Batgirl and my Batgirl action figure are pretty different looking. And so, looks like, excuse me, it looks like Willa here has a new playmate. Just, oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh, and I have, it's so awesome. Let me go ahead and show you. Aha! This was Molly's certificate. Which the light is flaring off of. So, it has her name and her statistics. And I'm recording. You know what, Brad? 